We all know that London is a dangerous place. It's a haphazardous kind of place where anyone's life can be taken in a single moment. On 17th of December 2021, 27-year-old Jabari Gooden lost his life in a broad daylight attack that saw him be stabbed in Peckham Roy over a minor incident, something trivial. Now Peckham Roy houses markets, so the fact that Jabari's life was taken on a Friday and during a busy period of 3.15pm, police say that there would have been over 30 witnesses shopping and mingling in that area alone. Now, after the incident, police put out a 20k reward, leading to information on the criminal responsible for this attack. And now, 28-year-old Mamoldu Lamin Fowl has been found guilty of the heinous crime. Now, Southwark Crown Court heard that on the day of the incident, Mamoldu Lamin Fowl and Jabari walked past each other, Nothing more, nothing less. Jubari then went into McDonald's with his girlfriend. After leaving McDonald's, the two men engaged in a conversation and, unfortunately, an altercation began where Jubari ended up being stabbed multiple times. But Mamoldu told the courts that even though he was a drug dealer, the fact that he pulled out a blade and started poking the victim, it was just self-defence. And in order to further cement his story, Mamoldu says that him and Jubari had a long history suggesting that there was already problems brewing between the pair, but police did determine that it was all a lie. Now after the incident, Mamoldu packed his bags, who knew that he was did something wrong and he was in trouble. He withdrew money and made a run to Manchester Airport, with the intention of flying to Gambia, in order to live out the rest of his life in a foreign country. He even forged documents under the name of Omar Barrow, and he even changed his appearance too but police arrested him on December 23rd at an address in Gillingham. Now, Mamoldu Fowl was found guilty of fatally stabbing Jubari in front of horrified Peckham market shoppers and is due to be sentenced for manslaughter soon. Condolences to Jubari's friends and family. Stay safe. Safe.